That feels so crazy to say. Hmm? We're here. Okay, so we are finally in Scotland. Just got to our hotel. We struck up a really good conversation with our cab driver, recommended some good things for us to do in town. So here's the tour. First you come in. That's about it. <laughs> so you have the room. I didn't think that we got windows in ours, so I'm kind of glad that there's two little windows. But I mean, it's just an old hotel. So bathroom. I haven't actually seen yet. We are so hungry, it is dinner time. So we're gonna walk to, I guess, up the street and just see if we can find something to eat. Good morning. We, it is officially our first day in Scotland. We got in uh, late last night and it was too dark, so we couldn't see anything outside. But I am so excited because the town and all of the buildings look literally amazing. So I am so excited to see all of the buildings in daylight because even like the residential areas, the buildings just look so old and so cool. So I'm excited to show you. One super like funny to me cool things is they drive on the opposite side here and the steering wheel is on the opposite side which I have never seen in person before so that was really when we were driving in the taxi last night he was on the opposite side and it was just so weird like when he was turning across traffic like you kind of get freaked out a little bit because you're like oh but then you realize that's normal here.
So this is the National Museum of Scotland and we are going here next. So every tourist thing that I had booked on my TripAdvisor is literally booked up for today. So we have to do a little bit of a rearranging in our plans and try to find other things to do because everything I had on the list for today is closed. So we are going to the Scotland National Museum. Our cab driver yesterday told us that this museum was really cool and it was on my list, but for another day. So let's see what they have to offer. How loud would you scream if that thing moved right now? <laughs> Apparently, that is what a lighthouse looks like at the top. Hmm. That's cool. Okay, mom, if you're watching, I know you're swooning over this chest right now. 1822. Okay, mom, but could you imagine a mega sloth? Because they might be cute when they're small, but could you imagine it that big? Oh my gosh. Whenever I get back to America and finally can drive again. <laughs> okay, so we are done at the museum. It was really cool in there. There's, oh my gosh, it was so big. I did not imagine it to be four floors tall with so many things to see. So that was definitely worth it. And it was free to get in. So that was really surprising. But now it's starting to get dark. It's 
get start here so early. It's only like almost five o'clock, right? Four thirty. It's like four thirty and it's already like almost nighttime here. So since all of our things that we wanted to do today were already booked, we're just gonna walk around and keep looking at the city and looking at all the buildings. They're starting to put up Christmas lights here, so it's really, really exciting. And we're gonna find somewhere really yummy to eat for dinner. hike to Arthur seat in Scotland <laughs> so as you can see it's very steep we're not even a quarter of the way there but let's go these shoes don't look very good <laughs> So this, I don't even think you can see it. That building, <laughs> this little castle thingy, it's not gonna focus. That is where we just took footage from. And this is how far we are. <laughs> Whoa. the bottom. I do look like Professor Quarrel <laughs> from Harry Potter with those same right ears. But it is cold here. Very cold. I am bundled. But we made it to the bottom. I don't know what we're gonna do now because it's only like three o'clock but 
We still didn't plan any activities to do. So we need to figure that out. We'll probably just walk the city again. Find something to do. Maybe eat here in a little bit. I feel like video will never be able to truly show how beautiful this is in person. But right now we're just walking around the city trying to find stuff to do because it is Sunday afternoon. But these old castles on the hill, so cool. This literally makes me want to cry. I might cry. So, so cool. Okay guys, so we ate at Nando's for dinner. That actually was very good. That was the first, huh? Oh, that was the first time we've ate there. We both liked it. Dakota got the super, super spicy, which he said wasn't super spicy, but I got like their mildest mild no spice and it was really good. Um, we just walked back to our hotel. You might think that it's like midnight right now. Like you can see how dark it is outside. It's actually seven. Um, I have a couple things to address. Number one, how the heck are people wearing shorts and t-shirts when I have on two pairs of pants, a turtleneck, a hat, and two pairs of gloves? I don't understand how people are wearing t-shirts and shorts here. Um, the second thing is, yes, people do wear kilts here. We have seen a lot of them, even though it is cold. It's like 40 degrees, like mid fifties. Um, people are wearing kilts here and it's all ages. So I thought that was really interesting because you don't really know until you come here that that's a real thing. Anyway, so we are going back to the hotel right now and we don't have Wi-Fi. Um, you have to pay for the Wi-Fi each day, which <laughs> I don't even know. That to me is just so silly, but we've been just going to the Starbucks up the street and like spending time there um, to get our Wi-Fi. We basically just get a coffee and then just spend a couple hours there doing whatever we need to do but that means that we can't do anything on our phones because our Vodafone like plan is all messed up too so basically like the only time we can use our phones is when we have Wi-Fi so we have to like find all these random shops across town to get Wi-Fi and use our phones so if you're messaging me while I'm in Scotland and I'm taking forever to reply please have some grace <laughs> because that is why. Um, tonight we are done. We're hanging up our hats and everything else. We're going to just go in, get warm 
and go to bed. So we will see you tomorrow. Good morning. Today we are in Starbucks getting our Wi-Fi for the morning. And we have a eggnog latte. Dakota's new obsession. He loves this one out of everything. So we'll probably be here for a couple of hours. Hopefully you can hear me. And then we are actually doing stuff in town today. So stay tuned for that. We made it to the Edinburgh Castle to have our tour. Looks so cool. A couple of buildings, but they had an ancestral. <laughs> is that how you say it? Ancestral. Is it raining? Um, where you can look up your name, and my maiden name was on there. So cool. Um, so it showed you like the whole crest and like explains what everything means on there, which is really cool. It's something that my dad always like talked about growing up and he like wanted to get a tattoo of his crest. So it was cool to see that in person. And sadly, Dakota was not on there. <laughs> but I told him we can expand. So apparently whenever they were playing all of the music and everything and shooting those cannons off, we were very, <laughs> very confused what was happening, but we just asked one of the staff and they said that it was a celebration for the king's birthday. So that's pretty cool. Okay, we just ate at Nando's again and it was really good. Now we're walking to the um, Edinburgh Botanical Garden. The pictures online look so beautiful and it looks cozy and fall. So we're headed there, almost there. Okay, so here's the garden, but they close at 4 and it's 3.57. Okay. So, we have to do something else. This is the theme of our trip in Scotland. 
so there's a park across the street that we're just gonna walk through instead. Dakota's been craving a milkshake, so here we are at Five Guys. And look at this menu. They sell beer. That's very interesting. I wanted to try some British chocolate, so I got this lady recommended the caramel flavor, so I'm excited to try it. The perfect last day. It is quite chilly and rainy. So we're walking to um, what's it called? Mary's Underground something. Something. I'll have to let you know what it's called officially when we get there. But we saw this super super cute cafe and got I got like a yogurt with granola and bananas and Dakota got pancakes and we got pumpkin spice latte which is we're not pumpkin spice people let's just put it that way sorry this is so shaky we're walking up the hill um, so we're going to go to this Mary's thing and then we're going back to the Botanic Garden and we are going to see it before they close. I promise. always this way. It is the basement of this building we're going to be going down and seeing today. Now the oldest part of our site is right this court, our courtyard where we just came from. Before this building was here there were four closes. Closes are essentially just very narrow streets. We had Mary King's close, Stuart's close, Pearson's close and Alan's close here. This looks so silly. I look like Santa kind of. Okay so the thing we just went to was the real Mary's close. And basically, it's like all of a pre previous close, which is essentially like a super narrow street back from like the 1300s that have been essentially like buried underground. So now the current city is built on top of it and they've opened up underneath for touring. So we did that. Unfortunately, it is a government, it's underneath the government so they would not let you film or take pictures, even though I really wanted to break the rules <laughs> and take video anyways, but I did not. So now, as you can see, it is raining <laughs> and we're determined to go to this botanical garden because we don't have anything else planned for the rest of the day. And so, since we don't have Wi-Fi at the hotel, we can't really go back to the hotel and do anything. <laughs> so we're gonna go to the botanical garden.
Okay, we're done exploring the gardens. It was really cool to see all of the trees and plants and everything, but honestly, I feel like a little bit hard to appreciate the full beauty since it is raining. <laughs> so we are going to seek shelter at Starbucks for a couple of hours, hopefully. Hopefully try their praline hot chocolate and then I don't know probably just go back to the hotel and start packing up to get ready to leave tomorrow morning super early so we are officially back at the hotel we goofed up a little bit because we stopped at Starbucks for like an hour and a half or two hours and our coats and gloves and hats were completely soaking wet from being in the rain all day and they were not dry whenever we left Starbucks so whenever we went back out in the cold the sun had already gone down and it was pretty chilly so we were just like outside with our wet clothes <laughs> We basically finally got food delivered to us and we just ate, it was like, I got like a burger and curly fries. Are just finishing packing and getting ready to leave tomorrow and head to London. So thank you so much for experiencing Scotland, learning and growing with me. And I can't wait to see you in London. Bye.